I have 10 huge fast food restaurant hacks and 10 secrets no fast food restaurant wants you to hear. This is to ensure your food is fresher and that you save more cash than you might have ever thought possible. Some crazy tricks. Great to be with you guys. I am the deal guy, Matt Granite. Welcome back to the channel. This is the type of content you like to see. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your notifications on. It will make my sorry life a little bit happier. I'm actually very happy. I, I, things are going well and I've got a beautiful daughter and life's good and I like saving money and you guys are here watching, but I still have no friends. Let's begin with the first big takeaway before I get to the top 10 huge hacks, which is a reminder, if you're looking for your daily dose of deals beyond huge savings on your favorite restaurant food, head over to mattsdailydeals.com. I do use affiliate links, which means I benefit monetarily. If you're kind enough to use one of my links, something like this, $19.99 pair of Bluetooth earbuds where the case doubles as a power bank. Just one of the many deals you will find on my website. So first trick that I wanna begin with is something that you might already be aware of, but then I'm gonna get to some really technical, less obvious secret stuff. If you go to Burger King or McDonald's, Chipotle, doesn't really matter where, and I'm gonna cover all of this. I wanna remind you guys that your food is rarely made fresh unless you're going at rush hour. So if you want to ensure that your food is always made custom order, customize your order even just a little bit, say something like extra tomatoes or I want two extra pickles. And the second your order is processed, it immediately goes to a line where it is prepared on the spot. So you're not getting something that's been sitting for what could be a half hour, depending on the restaurant and the franchise. I wanna begin with McDonald's and then I'm going to tackle a few other restaurants that are very popular, that are important to you most likely in part of your routine. Let's talk about McDonald's. Now, McDonald's only uses fresh eggs in one of their sandwiches. Do you guys know which one that is? It's the Egg McMuffin. Now this is the only sandwich at the time that I'm uploading this video that doesn't get those flash frozen liquid eggs. So if you guys want to enjoy another one of McDonald's breakfast selections, but you want to enjoy real eggs, so for example, uh, the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, ask McDonald's when they prepare your order for the same eggs used as the McMuffin. They sometimes call it round eggs, they sometimes call them fresh eggs, but anytime you see this folded over egg, it is not fresh like on the Egg McMuffin. So simply ask for that egg and you can enjoy a wide selection of breakfast sandwiches where you are now taking control and getting fresh eggs which taste a whole lot better. Fast food hack number three. A double cheeseburger and a Big Mac are virtually the same thing with a big price difference that you can now control with one quick free modification. So at the time I'm uploading this video, and bear with me for a second, a Big Mac on its own is $3.99, four bucks, and two cheeseburgers is two bucks. So two cheeseburgers is half the price of a Big Mac. Now, if you look at the Big Mac and all of the ingredients that are encapsulated into this beautiful, magnificent hamburger, or you might hate it because the patties are really thin and you're more of a Burger King person. By the way, what's your favorite fast food? Leave me a comment. I'd be so interested to know, and that will help determine what I tackle perhaps in my next video. But anyhow, the Big Mac includes the beef patty, the lettuce, the bun, the cheese, the pickle slices, and the onion. The only differentiating factor between the Big Mac and the double cheeseburger is that the double cheeseburger has ketchup and the Big Mac has the Big Mac sauce. Thanks to the kiosks at McDonald's, you can actually get rid of the ketchup and add the Big Mac sauce to the double cheeseburger and you get the exact same burger plus the added benefit of more processed cheese. That could be really delicious, but you're paying half price and you're getting essentially the same burger. Just a modification if you are really tight on cash as savings hack number three. Before we move from McDonald's to Chick-fil-A, I've got another hack which will help ensure you get less synthetic stuff and more good stuff. Kind of like the, the egg thing that I compared. The mocha frappe at McDonald's, if you do enjoy their coffee beverages, and I, I in the past, even though I should not be allowed caffeine because I become even more annoying, if you can imagine me with that, the mocha frappe has chocolate syrup on it. The chocolate drizzle is a just a synthetic sugary chocolate syrup, which is fine. But I'm not sure if you're aware of this, McDonald's will easily swap the fudge that they have in-house, which is even more delicious in my opinion, and put that onto your mocha frappe. In all the times I've tested this, there's been no additional cost. 
And for savings hack number four, just ask for the fudge and you can skip the chocolate syrup with that quick, simple tweak that gives you a better product for the same amount of money you're already paying. When we discuss a value, which is savings hack number five, sometimes paying a little bit more will get you a whole lot more. When a lot of people think of hacks, they often think, okay, I mean, it's how do I cheat the system or how do I employ this trick? But I'm a consumer advocate. So sometimes advocating for one thing over another will make a huge difference to you. And I wanna remind you guys, I would avoid the four, the six and the 10 piece nugget sets based on what you get for your price. Now let's look at current McDonald's pricing and that will help support what I would like to make as my point. At the time I'm uploading this video, 10 chicken McNuggets at McDonald's, $4.49. For 51 cents more, you get 20 nuggets. You double the amount of nuggets you get for barely doubling your cost, not even coming close, right? It's the difference between $4.49 and $4.50, and then instead of getting 10 nuggets, you get 20. Now, you may say to yourself, well, I, I don't want 20 nuggets, I don't eat 20 nuggets, it's not worth it. Maybe you eat 11 nuggets, maybe you eat 12 nuggets, maybe you eat 14, or maybe you bring a couple of nuggets home and you turn it into a chicken sandwich the next day, or you, you put a couple aside and you give them to a, a homeless person in your neighborhood that's outside the McDonald's. There's so many different ways to make that work, but chances are, if you are still a little bit hungry after 10 nuggets and 20 nuggets is not a conceivable thing to you because in your mind, our mind thinks, okay, well, it must be double. I'd be paying eight or $9. You're not, it's actually a 51 cent difference. And I'm sure McDonald's would much rather you take the 10 nuggets if you actually do the math on that and then buy other products and be hungry. So that is your fast food restaurant hack number five. Well, we are speaking of chicken. I'm gonna go from McDonald's now over to Chick-fil-A. I wanna show you a quick illustration. This is a, a, a super cheap move. This might not be what you wanna do, but I'm just gonna throw this out as a hack because I've done it when things are really tight and my wallet is really empty and I'm really hungry. Chick-fil-A one count chicken strip is $1.45. And this is awfully similar to what you get in their sandwich, which is $3.75 for the classic sandwich. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you can simply get the chicken strip and then ask for a side bun order. Half the times I ask for a side bun order, I'm not charged for the toasted buns, they just give them to me. And then when I am charged, I believe it's somewhere between 30 and 40 cents. So instead of ordering the Chick-fil-A sandwich, just ask for the two tenders and ask for a side order of a toasted bun. And whether you order one chicken tender or two, depending on how hungry you are, you will be paying less and most stores are very happy to make that tweak and of course, it's more cash back in your wallet. So that Chick-fil-A trick puts more cash back in your wallet and now I'm gonna put more food back in your tummy where it belongs, which is fast food restaurant hack number seven. And this one is for Chipotle. Now I'm sure you are aware at Chipotle that if you wanna order more meat, more protein, you pay extra. But what if you want just a little bit more and you don't wanna pay for it and you like two of the proteins that are available, whether it's a burrito bowl or a salad, things where they have to scoop. Ask for two different types of protein, not double protein, but ask Chipotle for two different types of protein. So let's use chicken and steak as an example. When they're using a spoon, very similar to the one that I have right now, and they're scooping up your chicken and your steak and they're in a hurry, Technically what they're supposed to do is measure half the protein onto a spoon. You can imagine that almost never happens. They're operating quickly. Some of the people behind the counter are very generous. They don't have time to measure every minutia tied to your meal. And you will get at least 1.5 times what you ordered in most cases. So if you can tolerate a second protein, you can even stick to two proteins from the beef family, no problem. Ask for one of each, not double, and you will end up with at least half more protein than you anticipated, and that does not change your price. So keep that in mind for savings secret hack number seven. For fast food restaurant hack number eight, we're gonna go to Starbucks, and I'm going to share with you the two most important words you can ever use at Starbucks when you are overpaying for your delicious coffee beverages or tea. Light ice. Now at other restaurants, when they're icing your coffee, the coffee is not brewed or the frappuccino or whatever it is is not brewed 
cold for your drink. That's where ice comes in handy. It keeps it cold. But at Starbucks, all of their cold drink products are already refrigerated. They're already cool or cold to begin with. So rather than have Starbucks put this much ice into their large venti cup, which is what happened, I went downstairs and I measured out the ice that they were putting into the beverages that I bought just to give you this demonstration. Instead of buying a venti, consider a grande, which is the Starbucks medium beverages I'm sure you know, and ask for a light ice grande. A light ice grande is the exact same beverage size as what you would get in a fully iced venti. And you can apply this trick as we go down the, the beverage aisle. And if you want simply more bang for your buck and you absolutely need the largest size, still ask for light ice. The amount of times they scoop ice into your beverage and the amount of ice that you end up paying for is very bothersome to me as a consumer advocate. So please make sure that you control the ice, not the barista with the scooper when you are buying something from Starbucks. For fast food restaurant hack number nine, we head to Arby's. And then I'm gonna actually show you something at Taco Bell that will hopefully blow your mind. Before you go to Arby's and you order your next classic roast beef sandwich, I wanna remind you that if you buy two sandwiches, it will actually cost you 20 cents less and score you almost double the protein you'd be getting. So, so work with me for a moment here, and this has been something that I actually measured out. If you go to a Arby's restaurant and you get the classic roast beef sandwich, you're looking at, at least at the time I'm uploading this, $3.29 just for the sandwich. If you order two junior roast beef sandwiches at $1.59 each, you are getting more roast beef and more bun and the same deliciousness as the classic roast beef sandwich, which is $3.29. I know this is only an 11 cents difference, which isn't gonna change anyone's life, but if you find yourself hungry, the two junior roast beef sandwiches will actually give you a little bit more bang for your buck. You fill up, you're less likely to buy something else, and that's where the savings happen. I'm sure for some of these suggestions, you're watching it and you're thinking, well, that's awesome. And for other ones, I, you're probably looking and you're like, nine cents? Thanks, the deal guy. But I think if this tactic discourages you from ordering something else because you're still hungry for $3.50, that's where the savings add up. So I'm, I'm just throwing that out there as an option. You want a little bit more meat, a little bit of a tweak you can make, that's what I would recommend. But I will tell you that one of the most commonly overpaid for products at Taco Bell is what I'm going to show you next. And this is the savings secret hack number 10. At Taco Bell, the chips and nacho cheese are one of the most commonly purchased and beloved side orders. It's $1.69. I don't know if you are aware of this, but for a dollar, you can get the triple layer nachos. And to make the triple layer nachos identical to the chips and nacho cheese sauce, all you have to do is tell them to hold the rice and beans. And then you end up with more nachos more cheese, and you spend a dollar versus a dollar 69. And that adds up, folks. That is a big difference. So I'm just going to put that onto your radar. If you are going to Taco Bell, they will be more than happy to make that substitution. I've actually found that Taco Bell is one of the most customizable of the fast food restaurants, which actually brings me to my bonus hack number 11. And this is for, I know you didn't know there was gonna be a number 11. Who's got no life? I do, and I threw this in. All right, this is DQ. Now, DQ, they, they, they struggle in many of the months over the course of the year to try and hold their own against the other franchises, and I think some of you will agree that if you've ever had a burger at DQ in the past, they're, uh, you might not want to go eat that there. But anyhow, with that being said, their blizzards are delicious and delectable. And by the way, if you disagree with anything I'm saying, please leave a comment. I, I would love to learn and hear from you guys. The DQ blizzards are highly customizable. And in addition to the fact that there's a blizzard of the month and ways for you to actually work some of the additional coupons and offerings that they post on their own website, they will gladly customize a basic blizzard with Oreo or different treats that they can then mix in without charging you for those toppings. So rather than pay extra for an Oreo, fudge, supersonic, whatever they have on that particular week, Consider just getting a regular blizzard, asking them to put in a little bit of Oreo and a little bit of chocolate, and you're at almost the exact same ingredient composition, but it might save you $2. It's just a tip. I didn't include that in my top 10 because it's kind of hit and miss, but 
I, I hope you like that. If you guys are looking for more tips, more hacks, if you want to learn more about secret menus tied to your favorite fast food restaurants, I would love to provide that information for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe, turn your notifications on. And I'll be more than happy to serve up another big dose of savings the next time we reunite. So thanks for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.